Hey, fellers, fellettes. Action by thought here. I'm Chris. Just got a quick thought for you. Ah, uh, magic. Now that I have your attention, hmm. not truly really magic, but the magic, the magical doors of the church. Obviously, it's not magical, but what is uh, phenomenal? Or I'm struggling for a word there. I don't think phenomenal is what I'm looking for. We get fired up, we get pumped up, we get filled with the Spirit in church. If you come to the church expecting the preacher to give you, or Sunday school teacher to give you the lesson that fi that fires you up for the with the Holy Spirit, then you've waited too late. You should bring it in with you. And by the same token, when we get all fired up in the church with like-minded people, and then there's that magical, although it's not magical, we go through the doors by the time we get to our vehicle in the parking lot might not be quite so pumped and ready to shout glory hallelujah to god as boldly as we do in the church one other thought here with that if we're going out on our own power to witness then we messed up right there already it's not our power that counts we are weak and worthless, if you will. We have to use the power of the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that can the Holy Spirit that convicts us to come to Jesus to begin with, and convicts us of our sins and enables us, enlightens us as we read the Scripture, is the same power of the Holy Spirit through the power of Jesus, through the power of God, that enables us to go boldly proclaim the name of Jesus. It's not magical, as a word I used to start this thing, but if we are, say, a strong A type, strong type A personality, or even strong AB personality, which is where I fit, I need to know, generally speaking, if I'm going to do something, I'd kind of like to know what's going on, and then when I figure out what's going on, I want to go get it done. Well, that's a, that's a struggle for humans. We don't always know what's going on. The Holy Spirit does not always, he guides us and tells us what we're supposed to do, gives us the words to use, but we don't always know specifically what's going on when we do that. Quit relying on your own power. And I struggle with that every single day multiple times a day if I'm out and about. Honestly, I don't get out of the house much. Uh, obviously, I am now. I'm in the truck, and there's cars behind me. I'm obviously in a parking lot. But we're not relying on our own strength. If we are, we're already weak in terms of witnessing. Let go. Let God. And there could not be any more true words than that. Let God shine through us, through the power of the Holy Spirit, through faith in Jesus. Keep that intensity when you leave the church. Keep that intensity when you go to work, go to school, go wherever it is you're going. I would actually challenge people here to comment. Let me know what you think. Yay, nay, somewhere in between. Let's communicate. Let your fingers do the talking. Anyway, guys, I love y'all, every single one of you in Christ. Best yet, God loves you. Y'all have a blessed day.